guys, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with a new video today. Today I'm doing a tutorial slash get ready with me, I suppose. I'm going to be using for the first time this NYC individual eyes. This is created for blue eyes, but I have brown. I just love the colours in there. Um, it also comes with a primer, a base primer for your eye, and a illuminator, which I think should be a bit more you know goldy as this white won't work for everyone uh, I have suspicions it won't work for me but they should definitely make it a tinge of gold you know just so it could work for me uh, but we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna jump right into it I have done my foundation uh, concealer brows and you know contour contour yeah bronzer and contour so I'm just gonna go straight into the eyes and I'm gonna use the primer that's in here can I even open this? Uh, this palette I believe was £2.50 I believe so in Superdrug so if you do live in the UK you can get it I know it's definitely available in the US but uh, you can get it in Superdrug too um, but yeah this is it these are the colours so this is the Illuminator like I said just stark white this is the primer and then these are the colours so it does tell you, you know, what to use each colour for, but you can obviously do what you want, so I'm, I'm going to do what I want. I don't want a too intense look because um, I did want the look to be mainly on the lips. I was going to do a full lip today, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to start out with the primer, of course. <laughs> okay, primer. Very creamy, melting very easily underneath my finger what it looks like when it comes out so I'm just going to dab it onto my eye uh, I'm waiting to feel the tackiness okay it doesn't feel too too tacky but it feels okay like I think it will do the job that it needs to do for today I don't feel like it's rubbish <laughs> like I did have a primer one time that just felt like water and it was like what is meant to stick to this but this feels yeah it feels substantial but yeah that is what the primer looks like kind of looks like NYX um, <clears throat> primer in skin tone a little bit in between skin tone and, and white so for the first color I'm gonna take a flat brush I'm going to take this silvery colour, silvery grey, it does have shimmer, I'll swipe it on my finger first so you can see, it is quite dark actually, I don't know, yeah, okay, we'll take it, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to place that onto my lid. That is quite dark actually, it's not as light as it looks in the pan. I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna put this on the lid. Pigmentation is okay. It's not crazy, but it de is definitely there. But then again, I don't think this is my favorite color, silvery gray, but it's nice. I'm looking to dip into that purple. Very nice. So I'm just placing this all over the lid. Sorry guys, I'm going to do a, a colour that's not in the palette. That's because they don't have a matte brown. You know, I need a transition colour. So I'm just going to take a matte brown from my 28 colour neutral eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. I'm just going to take a matte brown. Similar to my skin tone, so you could skip it, but I just need a transition set shade to make blending easy. So you can barely tell, but it just helps with the edges of the grey. Greyish silver. I'm going to take the first gold, which is this bright one here. I'm going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to place that on the middle of the lid and 
I'm going to take the applicator brush that came with it and dip into that deep purple colour. I'm only using this applicator brush so I can, you know, pack on the colour into a certain area. And I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner. And I might as well do it. I told you already, guys, I don't want too intense because I want to focus on the lips. But this purple colour is too pretty to pass up. And it is coming out a bit blackish. You can see. A little bit blackish. And we're going to take a little blender brush. This one is by e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And I'm just going to blend that. In the outer corner. Tiny bit into the crease. reapply that gold to the middle of the lid so I'm going to use the illuminator that's in the um, quad and um, oh it's got a bit of creamy as well very creamy I'm just going to place that into my inner corner you see how it just looks ah on my skin tone but I'm just doing it so you lot can see the colour I suppose if you blend it out a bit you know tap it a bit it's not as ah uh, <laughs> but it's still ah uh, a lot I definitely wouldn't use this highlight on my face or on my brow bone but it's great as an inner you know everyone's into this inner corner metallic look <clears throat> So I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm first going to start out with this bronzy gold shade and run that, sorry this is the Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to run that underneath my lower lash line. Yeah it's not as bronzy as I thought it would be so I'm going to go in with that purple. <clears throat> Gonna use my makeup revolution liner it's my favorite at the moment okay, so now I'm gonna use some mascara I lined my top lash I meant my lid <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna use some Jordana Besh lash extreme volumizing mascara I've tried other ones guys I've tried bad girl lash this separates the lashes very well, but I don't feel like it gives me length. So I'm gonna go in with Bad Girl Lash as well. And just use that to separate the lashes. Look at that brush. Boom, fat. Guys, the lashes that I will be using today are these ones. I can't remember where I got them from, but they're called Gypsy Lashes uh, 903 Black. And they're kind of these naturally wispy spread out ones. Okay, so while my lashes are drying, I'm going to place some NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in my bottom uh, waterline. I'm only going to carry this halfway. I'm not going to smudge it or anything like that. I like I quite like the um <clears throat> defined black line on your waterline. So this is the finished look. I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. I've done my face but I'm just going to do blush, highlight, lipstick. So for blush, um, what am I wearing for lipstick first? Yeah, I'm going to go dark. 
So I'm gonna wipe off the lip gloss I already have on. And I'm gonna line my lips with a She Makeup Lip Liner in Brown. And now I'm gonna take a City Color B Matte Lipstick in the shade Francesca, which is this dark, let me swatch it for you, vampy red. Hello. This lipstick smells like something familiar, but I can't put my... Love that. Love it. And it's going to conceal around the lip. Keep it bare. Love that. Okay, so that is my lipstick choice. And now for blush, I'm gonna take my blush beauty treats blush palette, which I mentioned in my favorites, which. To confirm guys, I went on Beauty Joint yesterday or today, it is £5, exactly £5 and you get 10 beautiful matte shades. So I'm going to be taking this, I'm going to be mixing these two at the end. So this dark, kind of matching my lips, <laughs> dark, you know, plummy brown and I'm going to take a tiny bit of this towards the apple of my cheek. So for that I'm going to use my Sigma large angle contour f40 brush which is my blush brush as you can see and i'm just going to start by taking that naturalish color and just blend it onto the cheeks take a tiny bit of that plum just like that and now i'm going to highlight and i'm going to use nars albatross i got this um, in the mail recently today I'm going to use my elf blush brush dip my brush in there a few times and dust it on oh I love this highlight and I'm gonna place take a smaller brush and place some of that underneath my brow bone too which I don't currently have a highlight for You see? Back to my blush brush and my albatross. Oh yes, this is the highlight. And then once again, blend it with the powder brush. I'm just going to place a tiny bit of that onto the tip of my nose. I mean, bridge of my nose, sorry. And also the tip. And also above my cupid's bow. And I shall leave it at that. I almost forgot I'm going to use my Urban Decay D -slick, D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. that quickly
and that is all that is the look guys um i hope you enjoyed i really like this look i love the finished look i would have probably no i was gonna say i'd use a tiny bit more blush but it actually looks good the way it is just <laughs> Just, suddenly I've become a blush addict guys I went from no blush until I used to like detest wearing blush and now I'm like more more more